Hello and welcome to the 8th and final episode of my Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers for the N64 playthrough. Um, last time we, well, we saved Velma from the horror of a slightly damaged ladder and collected a gear. We also ran through these little doorways here in the fashion of a Scooby-Doo TV show episode. But now we need to find where that that, uh, that gear goes. And last time when I said we'd be returning to Scooby again, apparently uh, he scared Scooby and I took damage. But when I said we would be returning here, I meant now. Come in here and Shaggy'll say, why isn't one gear moving? Well makes sense that it would need another gear to make it move. Scooby dooby doo! And the front gate's open. Now, you'd think we were pretty much done. The front gate's open, we can just leave, right? Well... That? That's not how it works in Scooby-Doo Land. Let's find out why. Right after... This horrible section of really short platforming. Well, not platforming, what am I talking about? Obstacle dodging. Yeah, if there was platforming, that would be new. This game isn't going to do anything new. And having flashbacks to uh, Dragon's Lair. Out of my way. You collect this gold key, and, well, that'll solve our problem with the locked door upstairs. Get these things out of my way. to cut back inside, because even though the mystery machine is right there, well, I'll let the, the rest of the gang explain. Well, let's go! sent off to finish things up. Cutting this door here. Oh. Eh. This, no. This door? There we go, that works. Cute little monkey face on it. Or a skeleton face, I suppose. Probably be more fitting. And all we really want is this. But we can duck in this little door over here. Now, I kind of wish they had developed the whole game based around original stories. Would have allowed them to keep the essence of the Scooby-Doo show without trying to needlessly shoehorn in characters. Um, the other three sections of the game weren't even so tied to the episodes themselves that it was, act it was anywhere necessary. Each one was more or less, oh, you remember the night, right? You remember the snow ghost, right? You remember the, the witch doctor, right? And that was about it. Well. Now, Mr. Inc. has yet to figure out who the culprit is. I'm not quite sure how. But let's see if we can't fix that for you. Let's, let's count the items. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
12 items we had to hand over to Freddy. Compared to the... That was... Was it 3 or 4 in... A Tiki Scare is No Fair? Yeah, okay. And suddenly Scooby-Doo got really dark. We're just gonna lead him to the torture chamber. I, I'm, I hope they're, they're not planning anything. Um, that that could kill him, Velma. Oh, of course, right, the net. Okay, yeah, we we can't kill anybody in a Scooby Doo game. Now, as far as Scooby-Doo traps go, this is actually a decent trap. This actually seems like it would work, as well as any of Freddy's traps would ever work. So, apparently we've gone from a slowed-down version of Scooby's laugh to be a growl while Freddy waves his arms behind a screen to a hole in the ground that Shaggy and Scooby ski over to a vine that trips the 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 villain it's a landing onto a grass mat to oh look we're going to put oil on the ground make sure you miss it it's going to slip him he'll fly off the balcony I, that door was open Shaggy anyway over a balcony into a pit where a net will be placed so when he falls in we can hoist him out with a hook. That actually sounds pretty Scooby Dooish. But we remember that Ghoul King is back here so let's go say hey. Actually, pretty lengthy run from the Ghoul King. Now we were able to avoid him. I know we don't want to do that here, but let's see if we can avoid him with the uh, the doorways this time. That seems to be working out the same way. Sometimes you can manage to catch him on one of his little zombie guys, but there's no real need to do so. Let's just enter this door and, well, that's it. We've beaten the game. That was quite the flight that he did there.
And, big shocker, it's our Necros. Or Rex Necros, as Freddy says. As the gang hops into the mystery machine and says their goodbyes, I guess I should thank you all for watching this playthrough. And, well, I hope you'll all join me again next time. there's going to be no information for the rest of the video so unless you feel like watching the credits you're free to to go on about your business now and I'll see you all next time